What's going on everybody? This is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We're going to be talking today about one of my favorite passing concepts out of the Trips Tied In offense. Trips Tied In is the best offense in the game because you can create so many combinations as a result of running this offense. And if you have not already learned my Trips Tied In offense, I want to encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. I put the offense the exact offense that I run in there this last week. Uh, we got about two hours worth of breakdown on the trips tied in. Specifically, we do a deep dive into it. We've got more updates on the way, but if you want to get the most up-to-date version of trips tied in, be sure to get that. That is just five bucks in the description. What I really like about my true fan membership is we update it every single week. Every week you get a new offensive update, you get a new defensive update, and you get a new uh, pro player film study analysis. It doesn't always mean we're going to update trips tied in every week. It means we're going to give you the best offense this week so uh it could be bunch it could be bunch tight end it could be trips tight end it could be strong close it could be whatever it might be same thing with defense we're going to go over double a gap we're going to go over three three five three three five wide like you get everything with this um membership it's so so uh important that you sign up so if you consider yourself a true fan of the channel and you really want to get better at madden this is going to uh, be good for madden 21 it's also going to be good for madden 22 you can sign up down in the description to support the channel it's just five bucks a month and what we do is we literally go super super deep into it uh, really really good material a lot of people have enjoyed it and I would encourage you to sign up we are capping this so it's not unlimited capacity so make sure to get your spot saved and get signed up immediately all right guys so what we're gonna talk about in this video is we're gonna talk about the play PA slot corner this play is really really good we talked about this a little bit in the uh, triple side in meta update that we did in the true fan membership but this is one of my favorite plays it's one of the most slept on plays in the game most people just don't realize how good it really is and so uh, i'm gonna just gonna give you one setup today we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about really the i think the best setup out of this it's really good for mabel coverage a lot of people in madden love to run this like little three you know basically like double flatting both sides putting their flats at 25 their curl flats at five and then their yellows at five and so what we're going to do is we're going to really really push this coverage to its limit so all we're going to do is we're going to take triangle and we're going to put him on a uh, smart route so we're going to smart route the triangle receiver we're going to uh, streak the circle receiver we're going to smart route the x receiver so when you come out in the play you want to smart route the receivers first so instantly i'm going to come out and i'm going to smart route triangle and x just like that and then i'm going to streak circle and the last thing that i want to do is i want to streak the running back out of the backfield it's really really important that you do this adjustment because our first read on this play is always going to be the x receiver the tight end against mabel coverage when you streak that running back it is absolutely impossible for them to be able to stop that it's it literally literally what this is is it is a slant out like a hundred percent this is a slant out from madden 12 or from madden 13 uh, i think madden 13 ended the slant outs but this is a slant out from madden 12. that's literally what it is um it's impossible it's so hard to guard this route like i can't even tell you how hard it I, just look at that i mean just dot every single time it is really really consistent and really really simple and so what's going to force the defense to do is it's going to force the defense to have to do a defense essentially like this right here where what they've done is they've taken the tight end and they have um they put that hard that flat out there the cool part about this is you can actually lowball that under underneath the flat but what's going to happen as a result of that um as a result of that adjustment where we've got cover two now on that we've got basically cover two on the right now what we're going to be able to do um is we are going to be able to really work this left side so we know from pre previous um you know experience with trips tied in that their user is more than likely going to be kind of in this little pocket right here and so it's it's very likely because we've got that running back route up the middle um it's very very likely that they are going to want to use her the running back it's the route we want them to use her because what's going to happen here on the back side of the play is this triangle route when we step up in the pocket we've got an automatic laser to the triangle route very simple and what we've basically created is a very nice little natural uh high low on the back side now if they run over to the triangle receiver with their user at the snap of the ball so basically they're going to basically say i 
I'm not going to worry about the, the tight end side. And they do that, then this running back streak opens wide up in the pocket. Very simple. What this is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to double uh, yellow zone. So I want to show you what that would look like. So this is two yellow zones. Okay. We've got essentially this concept right here. And then our user, we're just going to put him in the middle of the field. And what this is going to allow us to do uh, offensively now is now we're going to continue to read the high low the yellow zone is going to sit on the drag but as you can see we've got the nice post in behind it the beauty of the running back streak is again it gives them something to use there's not a yellow zone in the game unless they drop them back to like 15 yards that is going to cover this and if they do um if and i'm just going to do this uh via protect the sticks so i'm going to hit uh protect the sticks here and what you're going to see is we're going to put our yellows out there. Okay. And I just want you to watch what all these yellows are going to do. So uh, we set up our play right there. That's what the play should look like. Snap the ball. And I want you just to watch. You see this triangle route still gets up over. The, it still gets there. They have to put a zone drop on that hook to like 15 yards. So the cool part about this is you've really spaced the field well. That's the beauty of this play. Um, and you're going to force them to have to use her, um, like I'm forcing them to have to use her triangle. So now you're gonna see, you know, this this combination right here is not a bad, um, not a bad idea. And I'm just gonna take the yellow away from left side. The problem is they can't use her triangle and the drag. Um, that's that's the other thing. But but anyway, if we watch the running back here, this is with a three wreck. I just want you to kind of watch just look at the look at where the the running back see just oh he's basically open the entire play with this and that's what's really really cool about this concept they they can't stop both sides they have to choose and we're really capitalizing on the seams out of this so uh let me show you let me show you a you know just kind of another version of the same thing so ideally they are going to want to sit on that triangle route so if they man up the running back Okay, that could be a potential option. So, um, cause I just wanna give you everything that you can see. So what they're gonna do is they, they might do this. They might go essentially like this. They might say, okay, we're gonna do uh, man coverage on the running back, right? Obviously there's a lot of things that you can do if they start to man up the running back and you start to notice that. But the biggest thing is if you watch how this works, you still have this high low on the right. You still have this high low. The drag is your check down, really simple. So there's a lot to guard in this play. PA slot corner is one of the most versatile and one of the most consistent plays year in and year out. This is why the trip side in is such a tough offense to guard in my opinion, because it gives you spacing, it gives you the best routes, and it gives you answers to every kind of coverage. And so if you wanna learn my latest and most up-to-date version of the trips tight end offense, I would encourage you to sign up for our true fan membership at the bottom of the screen. It's just five bucks and it gets you access to an offensive update every single week, a defensive update video every single week, and a pro player high film study analysis every single week. We've covered Drini, we're gonna be covering Henry this week, and then we're gonna be covering probably Spam and Buttons the next week. So thanks for your time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you wanna sign up for that membership, I'd highly recommend it. It's just five bucks and you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description.